Hello and welcome back to Energy Warden. Today I'm going to walk you through a list of 10 examples of non-renewable resources. These will mainly include minerals and fossils. But first I think we ought to determine what is a renewable source and a non-renewable source. I'm just going to read this out so that I don't get tongue-tied. What is a non-renewable energy resource? The definition is a supply of renewable energy that is available to us for an unlimited consumption. The consumption from non-renewable sources are limited as it will not replenish itself like solar energy. So once these resources are gone, they're gone forever. So let's get on with number one then, fossil fuels. Why are fossil fuels considered non-renewable resource? Because fossil fuels are the energy generated out of organic matter, which is trapped in between the sediment layers of the earth. The organic matter has been there for millions of years and over time they have decomposed and have been compressed to give life to fossil fuels. These, de these deposits are highly combustible and as a result, an excellent energy source. However, they have to be attained from the earth, either by mining or drilling. So once they're gone, they're gone. Number two, crude oil. Crude oil can be considered a non-renewable resource. It develops between the layers of the earth's crust Crude oil is available as a liquid form and is extracted by drilling into the ground or ocean floor. The crude oil is then pumped out, which gives life to many different products which act, which act as a source of energy. Some of the most popular products out there are diesel, petrol and jet fuel. Number three, coal. Coal can be considered as one of the most prominent non-renewable resources of energy out there. It's created of millions of years through the compression of organic matter. Coal has to be mined for, and China is the biggest coal supplier in the world and has been for the past three decades. Number four, uranium. Uranium is a non-renewable resource. It's rare in its natural state, but a little goes a long way. The supply of viable uranium will last for 80 years, it's said. Being the most common nuclear fuel, it will last much longer using conventional reactors. But once all of it is mined, it's gone forever. Number five, natural gas. Natural gas is another non-renewable source of energy that is created when the earth's crust. It's quite similar to crude oil. Natural gas is also pumped out through drilling methods. Ethane and methane can be considered as the most popular form of natural gas. These gases are widely used for home heating purposes. For example, many people use natural gas to heat their ovens and cook with. I hope you're enjoying this video. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. You'll be most welcome. Thank you. Let's get on with the list. Number six on the list is tar sand. Not Tarzan, tar sand. Tar sand, also now known as oil sand, is a mixture of mostly sand, clay, water and bitumen. Bitumen has the same molecules found in liquid oil and is used to produce gasoline and other products. Tar sand is a fossil fuel, so it's non-renewable. Number seven, steel. Steel is a non-renewable resource as it cannot be naturally replaced. Steel can only be made from iron, which has to be mined from the ground and there's a limited supply of iron ore. Number eight, phosphorus. Phosphorus is a sedimentary rock formed millions of years ago. Phosphorus rock is processed to produce phosphorus, which is 
mainly used in fertilizers. It can be turned into phosphorus acid, which is used in everything from food, cosmetics, anim animal feeds, and electronics. Phosphate is finite, which means we can no longer replenish it. Number nine, aluminium. Or well, for those of you who struggle to speak English, aluminum. I'm only joking. Aluminium is not a renewable source because it comes from the mineral bosite. And minerals are non-renewable. To produce aluminium, bosites are chemically processed to produce alumina, which is then smelted to produce the metal. You could argue that recycling aluminium will make it a renewable source but to produce it we need the ore which is a non-renewable source finally number 10 groundwater groundwater is a non-renewable resource a study by hydrologist Tom Gleason of the University of Victoria explains that less than 6% of groundwater is replenished within 50 years. So it could run out at any time. Many people think groundwater is replenished by the rain and melt water, the way lakes and rivers are. But this is actually a much slower process. Remember, groundwater is found beneath the Earth's surface in rocks and soil spaces and in the fractures of rock formations. It is not to be confused with surface water. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider watching a few more. Why not choose one of these? And I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Cheers.